Well, welcome back to Midlife Explorer. It's uh, another Friday afternoon. Gorgeous sunshine on the Grand River. Third weekend in a row actually paddling down the Grand River. Today we've uh, picked up from the bottom of Grant Park at the main gate. And now we're paddling down to the top of the Oxbow. And then we're actually going to do the Oxbow as well. So we're looking at uh, a 24 kilometer paddle in total. It's going to be 10 kilometers to get us down to the Oxbow. And then the Oxbow itself is another 14. So full day in the river, probably close to six hours with our breaks today. Um, and I've also, um, because we're doing a little bit more touring rather than white water today, or at least moving the water, I've uh, a new to me boat. It's actually a 15 year old Mackey Manitou, a 13 foot, you know, cross between a touring and a wreck boat, but uh, should be a little easier to paddle than my old town. In an effort to try and keep up with Gord, because he's got a new boat now and I can't keep up with the man, so uh, maybe today I've got a better chance. But uh, time for us to try out a new boat today as well. That's uh, again, new 15 year old boat that's uh, new to me anyway, so should make the, the day more interesting. Still trying to get comfortable in it. I, I'm, I already missed my knee pads, <laughs> so I'm gonna have to figure out uh, how to adjust the seat for the cock cockpit in this boat smaller. So, no, no, but this would be easy to finish it on, no. Yeah, he just included the cover. No skirt, though. Find yourself faster already? No, actually, the bow seems to be sitting lower in the water than the other boat. Yeah, I actually feel like I'm actually closer to the water in this. Stability is good, though. Are you on the sardine? Like this doesn't track any better than my old town, which is funny because the old town's two feet shorter than this. I have a hard time uh, steering this thing. Well, if you want to turn when you if you want to turn that faster, you need to get comfortable putting it on the second edge. You need to get comfortable turning the boat like that. Yeah, well, it's nice to get out. Looking forward to the paddle again today. I mean, it's going to be totally different than what we're normally used to paddling, right? It's going to be pretty flat. But... Just another section of the river we haven't seen yet. I haven't done the Oxbow either, so I'm glad I can reach the edge of it once. And it really does take us all the way from Aurora to the end of the Oxbow. Well, actually, I posted that in the video because I think in the, in the video when I was talking, I said we'd already, before we started last weekend, we'd, done, we'd already done 80. I went back on the map. We've already actually, before last weekend, we'd already done 110. Um, and then with last weekend, we've now done a, 126. 
after today, Gord, we'll have, yeah, we'll be over 150. So. He wasn't bothered. Hmm. Yeah, that's some of the turtles setting themselves. Last week's video, we actually saw four snappers on a rock. This one's got a baby, though. Oh, look at the babies. So this boat gets up to speed quicker than my heron does. There you go. Yeah. Isn't necessarily easier to that paddle, because that's a wider blade paddle than you know. Really Is it? So we did okay, we got in the water just up to two, Gord. Yep. Like two fifteen. Okay. I think we're on the water till seven fifteen today. At least seven thirty. I'd be surprised if we actually make it back to the truck before eight. Depends on how many stops we make. I like the hat. That's good. It's a keeper. So well, this is a nice upgrade to the Pelican, and that's how I'm considering it. That's the reason why I bought a red one. This is replacing my Pelican. It's not replacing my Heron. There you go. I want to, you know, see how this handles rough water first before I make a decision whether I'm going to use it more often. Okay. Seriously? Well, that's another reason why I wanted a, a boat that paddled a little bit more like yours. Because I knew we were doing a 24 kilometer flat water paddle today. And I figured 24 kilometers in the Heron is doable. I know when we did 27 last year, we did that twice. I was beat by the time I was done though. And that was the 27 that we did then was coming out of uh, Allura Gorge into Conestoga Golf Club. So that was that one. The water moved pretty quick. This one, the water's not moving at all in a few minutes. But it's nice and clear. It's deep though. It's probably six, eight feet deep right here, and I can still see the bottom. It's unusual for a river. Then you get up by team. See, I, I want to go that way just to see where it goes, but I know I'm going to have to get out of the boat. It, no, no, you won't. No? It wraps all the way around. It's just it's an island. It's called, oh, look at them all. Holy crap. Do you think it's deep enough, it's though? It's called Kirby Island, but I think you're getting, you might have a hard time getting in. Well, I can get in. I just want to go around. Do okay. you want to go? Sure. If we get stuck right here, I'll just back up. My new old boat. That's one of the advantages of going and buying a 15 year old boat off of Kijiji rather than a brand new one. Because I'm not worried if I scratch it. <laughs> so my little boat is 12 feet 10 inches. Uh, just under 13 foot boat. And Gorge is 14 foot 2. But I think the material that Gorge's boat's built out of 
It's a little heavier, obviously more durable than this, but I think that whatever the plastic you're using for that mold is, is a little heavier than the plastic in this boat. Because technically he should go ahead and move it. Taking a side channel on the Grand River in the middle of Ramford. I'll have to look on the map to see what island this is, but uh, probably not the best idea. If you don't want to get stuck, I'm sure we're going to get stuck at some point. But I've ridden my bike up and down both sides of this river. Um, we did it last fall, actually. Ended up in Hamilton when we were done. They have a, a really good trail system in Brantford if you'd like to ride your bike. I don't like Cambridge in that respect. Hey? Yeah. Hey? Yeah, there's fish everywhere here. Kind of fun to go places that you shouldn't. Holy crap, look at the size of the, Oh, these are catfish here. Yeah, there's a ton of fish in here, man. There's some deep holes, too. See, if I put Heather in this boat, and she came with us, Gord, yeah. you and me wouldn't keep up with her. Scholarship. We're 60. Yeah, I know. She would just, <laughs> she would, she would just leave us in the dust. Actually, Jeff leaves me in the dust too if I give him the good boat. But Jeff, whenever Jeff comes with me, I always give him the Pelican though. So, <laughs> so, like, hey, uh, so I look like the superstar dad because I get the better boat. Unless we did a, a Rockwood or yeah. or we did a Rock Lake. Right, so I lean back and we get to the shallows like this. Yeah, tree back like that. Lawrence, I'm sorry, man, if you're watching the video, I scratched your boat. Well, actually, it's my boat. I guess it doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> yeah, well, I told you I was going to take it down the river. Yeah, you know what, Ford? If nothing else, it's nice to have something to pick. Like, I, I mean, I'm not saying I wouldn't take this boat again. I mean, I think it actually moves faster than my other one. Yeah, I think mean, for this kind of a paddle, this is actually, uh, well, I mean, I, I, I bought it for one reason, one primary reason, but I wanted to be able to keep up with it, right? So, because no, when we went out that first day and you were in that boat, I mean, last weekend, it wasn't a problem, right? Because Ali was with us, but the weekend before, man, like, especially at first, you got going. You know, I'm going to want to do uh, Cambridge to uh, Paris again now in this one, just to see what it's like. Well, we get any rain, um, we're going to go up to Laura Gorge and come down from there. Oh yeah, as soon as we get a couple days of rain. I mean, the problem is we've got we've got seven days of sunshine and heat coming, right? So this is this is everything's going to be dry drying out. There won't be much water left in the river in seven days. And I would like to load up and go up to uh, Luther Marsh as soon as we're out in there. So Gordon and I have, uh, we started our journey back in June of last year with a trip from Laura Gorge down to Conestoga Golf Course. That was actually a 27 kilometer paddle that day um, through Wilson's Flats and actually underneath the bridge. 
actually really really nice paddle uh, now normally the water is pretty low so we're going to go back and do it again this year but you got to make sure that you pick the right way to go because even now it's probably too shallow to get through um so after a couple of days of rain we'll go back and do that paddle but we've continued on from there so we uh followed up from there and came from conestoga down into kitchener and from kitchener down into the top of cambridge and then from cambridge all the way through to paris we did not in the fall last year um, and uh, we've now done Cambridge to Paris again this year, Paris to Brantford, and now we're doing 10 kilometers uh, from the bottom of Brant to uh, Park Conservation Area down to the Oxbow, and then we'll do the 14 kilometers of the Oxbow. So today's going to be another good ride. And by the time we're done today, Gordon and I will have paddled the first 150 kilometers, or at least 150 kilometers downstream from a lower gorge. Um, which we'll probably leave is about 90 kilometers to make it down to Lake Erie. All right, Gord, which way are we going? Uh, to the right. Yeah, I Remember, think so. Remember, we're still on the left side of that island. Yeah, yeah. It's a big island. I'm glad we came down this side, though. It's interesting. I'm thinking this is the last weekend you want to do this. <laughs> And there are large parts of the Grand River below Alora that are like this, which is the reason why you want good water. Although it's not hard to walk in the water if you've got the right shoes. We'll see how the boat is to get in and out of those. It's harder than my heron to get into, that's for sure. Hopefully we won't need to. So if you're coming down any time other than May, <laughs> I'm not sure which island this is, but stay to the right. Let's put it on that. If you're coming down in May, though, you'll probably be okay to make it through here. but at least you got to think about where you're going on the river. That makes it interesting. Gord's normally one of those in front when we get to this kind of stuff because he's better this than I am. <laughs> well, it looks like we're getting right into downtown Brantford now. Now, there's a drop up here somewhere, Gord. Hey, Gord, did, did uh, Polinsky Boats reach out to you at all no. about, about your seat? I just, have to, I just have to go. Where is that landing area? I think we're on the opposite side of it. We may have a hard time getting down here. That's usually a path <laughs> to the island. Is, is it? Yeah. There's got to be flow come down here somewhere. It's definitely not on the right side. Looks like it's right in the middle, Gord. 
It's fine. It's a big drop. So let's see if we just bottle the water. We've made, made it through the other ones. That way was a lot more interesting. A little different than what the rest of the river is going to be like. So, I think you're not doing that. Either. Thank you all like my dad. Thank you. Thank you. So, you, there was, when was that? Spring of about 10 years ago. All right, so 10 years ago, the ice in the river built up so big that the ice was actually hitting the top of the bridge? Yep, and wow. it hit the second bridge so much that it was actually shut down for about four years. Yeah. We're, at, we're, at, we're worried about structural issues. Is that second bridge the one that we rode the bikes across? Yeah. Yeah. There yeah, that's the one that's. That came right over top of this boat. That, that final wave? Oh yeah, it came right over my bow, man. I'm soaked. My shorts are absolutely soaked. Okay? There you go, that's the advantage of the extra 16 inches. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This didn't keep me any drier than my, my hair would have. No. Well, and that's, again, my, my goal when I bought this boat was to have something that was easy enough that I could still put it on the roof of the car by myself because I struggle with yours. I have a hard time. And when I when I talk to, the, um, the, I email the guy at uh, Polsky Boats, Matthew, I think his name is, um, he said because of the kind of pattern we were doing, he wanted to put a couple of extra pounds of plastic into it. Yeah. It's like, okay, yeah, but that means I'm lifting every time more weight. So it's not that two pounds makes much of a difference, but I still find that boat harder to put on the roof rack than this one. Oh. Th this one feels just like the old one. Actually, this is lighter than the old one. So how far away would you say we are now from uh, Oxbow? We got to go all the way down to the west. So we just passed the casino. And now we're about to, I'm going to say, 5K. So we've, we've, we've done 5K already? Oh, yeah. Please. Okay. The well, reason why I'm asking, once you get to the Oxbow, there's not many places to stop. Exactly. 
exactly. So I wouldn't mind stop. I mean, we could stop right at the top of the oxbow. Yeah, we could stop at um, where they put people in. Yeah. Do you want to continue to there, or do you want to stop before that? I'll stop freaking right now if you want. Okay, find a good place to stop. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm hinting at. Okay, well, let's get up on that bank over there, because then we're not uh, in the back. Let's get around the corner. Yeah. You know, if I lived in Brantford like you do, Gord, I would still paddle these sections of the river here. These sections of the river. Would I have time for that? No, but, okay, so, <laughs> no, but I mean, from Paris all the way through here, it's just as good as Cambridge. Well, it's not as good as Cambridge to Paris, but they're all worth paddling. I'll tell you, I could do Cambridge to Paris every time I go to that. And, and you and I actually are going to do it again this year if yeah. we can't make it up to Saugeen. Because I, well, we're going to make it to Saugeen, but I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking that I, I'm not sure. Well, after today, after the Oxbow, I'll tell you whether I want to go any further. Yeah. Right? Because I, I, I don't mind a river as long as you've got this every now and again. But if it's just flat, 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 I don't want them to get bored of me. Okay. Good to me, sir. Yeah, just saying, actually, we were mounting the camera on Gord's boat. Um, but one of the uh, locking brackets, unfortunately, I left it in my kit box. So the camera wasn't secure. So just one camera today, but I think in the future, it's been good having having uh, two cameras on our paddles. On the paddle last week, I thought it was really good. So I'll do it again. So we've been on the water for an hour, and we're we're going to take three breaks today, so we're going to have our first break before we get to the Oxbow because once we're on the Oxbow, we need to places to stop. So. Plus, it's warm. So, not really a huge upgrade from my Heron XT. The boat feels a little faster. So, it doesn't keep me any drier though. Uh, but it's actually lighter than the Heron, which actually is a bonus. So. So first impression is pretty good. All right, sir, away we go. It's actually really, uh, it's really nice to have a different boat to paddle. I've, had, I've been um, paddling with my hair for four years now, so actually, even though this is an old boat, it's new to me. And it's got different characteristics, and I was just saying the glory kind of like the storage method on the back. It's you know, watertight storage on the herring. It's just easier to live with. Just click in, click on, and click off. It's actually got a locking mechanism that works really well. I mean, this one's fine. I mean, it works. It's just twice the work to put your stuff in the back. So. But there are paddling advantages to this, so you can see why I probably will pick this. And I'm paddling a type of river at one point. Watch out here, you just gotta find them. Good morning, hot one. I can see all kinds out here, a lot of good sized ones too. Yeah, you see all the bastards going back and forth protecting their babies. Yeah. That's one nice thing about the Grand River. It's, uh, it doesn't matter what part of the watershed you go on. And again, you can have a look at it. All that stuff is we've, we've paddled a, you know, a large part of it. and. All those people fishing every time they come out. And there are a ton of fish. I, had, I wish I had some sort of a ND filter on my camera so you could see the water. That's why I haven't taken enough the boat to show you, but there is just tons of fish in this river. Okay. Well, this is, this is all new river to me. 
Yeah, once we uh, got below Paris, it's all new river. I've never gone past Paris. Well, that's not true. I've done Dunville, right? Yeah, we've been down to Dunville, and I've been up to Luther Marsh. I'd like to, now that you've got that boat and I've got this, I'd like to take you up to Luther Marsh. I know. We'll get there. Uh -huh. that and it looks like our heron's playing with this board. Remember that time in the Saugeen? Yeah. Well, this one here is doing the same thing. Yeah, that's what I was saying. The last time we had one falling us like this, yeah. we ended up in the river. Yeah, this is a, we, had, we were up in the Saugeen last fall. And, and we had these herons do exactly the same thing for an hour and a half on the river. They could very easily have just turned around and gone up river and, and we'd be done. But no, they go down river and then six or seven minutes later you're looking for them again. Well, there's a little bit of river here, Gord. A little bit of a drop here. Mm -hmm. All right, sir. You go first. I gotta follow you. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I think there's enough action on the left there, but I don't know where it goes. Let's go after the bumpy stuff. Hey. Alright, I'm following you, my friend. that down here but certainly making the, the second five kilometers on this stretch good I actually you know didn't expect it I've just been considering that little detour we took it's been a good little paddle eh? I'm gonna go left. All right. Okay, so this, this paddle, 
We already got 30 minutes of decent footage. Absolutely. Yeah, I've, I've well, there's our friend again. See, I was just Absolutely. saying earlier, every seven or eight minutes we'll see him again. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I've been nicely surprised. Uh, yeah, except the oxbow won't be like this long. But I, yeah, honestly, the this will be just like this. Like the whole stretch from Paris down was actually not bad, really. Okay. Yeah. This is a repeatable trip. It looks damn is what this causes a lot of people to not do this, right? Yeah. Well, I, you know what? Again, I love coming down from Alora last year. I below Conestoga Golf Course. I'm not sure I really want to repeat that section. I don't need to go through all, all the way back to Blair Landing, right? Blair Landing, I'll do that in the fall. We'll go all the way through Cambridge again, because that was really pretty. Um down to Paris, that was a great trip. We'll do that again. And then I will definitely do Cambridge to Paris three or four times a year. But I would do Paris to Brantford again, and i do this again. Well, that stretch behind us, you're not, you're not doing it next weekend. Well, not the way that we went. No. Yeah, no, we'd have to go the, on the right side of that island instead of the left. That detour we took, there's no way you get through there in two weeks. mind this at all, at all actually it's uh now we'll, we'll see once we get to the oxbow but the trip down the oxbow has been great this is the reason why i got this boat board because in wind like this this boat paddles way better than the heron does so and i knew we were doing this kind of a paddle and i wanted to be able to have something that was easy to paddle. Let's see, it's much easier to paddle in the ground. It's a great boat. It's been well respected and has stayed in lakes. So unfortunately, I probably put more scratches on it in the last hour and a half than in the last 15 years. This bitch is going to have all kinds of scratches on it. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it again. Okay. Yeah, we can stop again if you want. And then we got one more stop after that. Yeah, yeah let's get rid of it. Is there a spot on the other side? The other side of that truck, right? This is the start of the famous Oxbow. If people want to do a paddle and have a short walk back. So you stay at 10 kilometers upstream from here. Yeah, there's a lot more sediment in the river here now, eh? Because it's sitting. Yeah, I think we're okay here, bud. 
I don't think we got a lot of room to wander around, but that's what you're looking for right there, my friend. There you go.